uh, how you guys doing? It's 807 August 3rd. Hope all is well. Appreciate our new subscribers. I'm oh, sorry, I'm uh, parked in the middle of the street of my house. I'm a little distracted. I'm on a cop to come pull me over. But anywho, hope all is well. Appreciate all your new subscribers. I reached my goal to 100, and now my goal to 200. Keep in that subscribe, hit that bell, hit that notification. Drop a comment below. I'm gonna appreciate all the support I got. And um, tonight's journey, we're gonna Shafter, California, Walmart. And um, this video is gonna be on um, how that subscriber recently reached out to me and give him a shout out. My bad. <laughs> To Robert Jacobs, he's recommended on um to do a video on um how to go properly down the hill. And I kid you not, I'm not even lying. Today going down the grapevine southbound, a truck was burning his brakes. Like, he couldn't even stop till he got past like six flags back in Magic Mountain. And the day a subscriber asked for a dive, that would have been a perfect intro. What well, not to do on the downhill. But who knows? Could have had a brake failure. Could have been a new driver, could have been an automatic, that just gears were not shit dropping down, who knows? Can't judge a book by its cover, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, I parked by the pad, as you can see. Put in the neighbor over here. My window's dirty, so, but I, you know, you can see that truck and the reflection over there. See that, yeah, I was parked over there. Yeah, I just keep up, I'm gonna be. Oh, yeah, Robert, this is what I drive for a company. So this is what I'm in right now. Company driver, it ain't my truck. That's in the making. Hopefully that'll happen soon, but people make it sound easy. We're the truck. Uh, not that easy. But anywho, stay tuned, enjoy the view, and um, I'll get into details when I, I'm gonna go down a big hill. Show you what, how to properly approach it, and how not to approach it. So stay tuned, let's get the show on the road, peace.
18, 1455 downhill. But this isn't where the, the uh, hill starts. This is before the hill. And it's always important to pay attention to when you get to the hill. Because it's going to show you the, the, chain, the speed limit changing. For example, I've been driving through here for years. So I already know where it's going to start. So I'm at 17th gear. I'm not giving it no gas. I'm just letting the truck uh, just drift down. Like I said, you want to pre get prepared for the downhill. You don't want to get to the downhill flying and you're going to have to slam on your brakes, drop gears, and pretty much you're just going to look like you're a crazy truck driver. See all past this truck because he's going like 40. Post the speed limit still 55. Like I said, my RPMs are at 13, 14, 17th gear coasting. I haven't touched my brakes from probably when I left Oxnard to put in the gear to clutch. That's pretty much it. See right here, it's gonna say your first sign gonna say slow trucks. And like usual, whenever you pass a truck and you pass them, they want to speed up. So I passed the one first warning. I'm in 17th gear still. Now it's gonna say truck speed limit 45. So I'm gonna drop that gear. I'm in 16th gear now. Like I said, you gotta you wanna find the sweet spot where you could close without hitting your brakes. I know the speed limit is 35 downhill, I understand that. But if you can keep it at 36 miles an hour but not touching your brakes, not causing any danger to anybody just coasting down I recommend that to keep it at 35 you're either going to be in a lower gear with high RPMs or in a higher gear with low RPMs and it's just it's just it's just like it's either right or not right pretty much and you got trucks like this this guy's going like 55 still you know don't get me wrong, I learned, I used to be that guy going freaking off fast, but you know, see there you go, like I said, perfect example, slamming on his brakes. I'm preparing for the hill. Then you get in front of me and I'll end up passing it. Let me fix my GoPro, sorry about that. It's kind of hard to get a good angle right here. Whatever gear you are, you just you drop one gear. I got 18 gears. So right here, I know, but some drivers don't. Speed limit's gonna change now. Okay, right here, this is a second warning. It's not more. Well, yeah, second warning. This is alert. Read your signs. It's important. This sign right here, you'll probably be able to see it. Just a big old yellow billboard. But this one's gonna say. Um, Five miles, six percent downgrade. Trucks use low gear. It's telling you how to get prepared for the hill. So now I'm in 15th gear. Look at this guy. Down him. I'm in 15th gear now. I'm gonna go to 14. And like I said, it takes time to be comfortable in the hills. When I was doing cross country, all through Pennsylvania, through the, the 80, freaking Forsyth. Arizona, hill climbing Coachella Hill, um, climbing through um, the 84 by Oregon, Washington. Like, I, I know there are hills out there. This is just, I don't consider this a hill. But anyway, so right now I'm in uh, 14th gear or 15th, whatever I said. 14th gear. Now, right here, this is where you're going to find your sweet spot. You better off finding a sweet spot if you can't be slamming on your brakes because you just you don't want to wear your brakes out, you know what I'm saying? You want to be look as professional as possible because a lot of these guys, a lot of trucks out here make us look bad where they're sloppy downhill. And um, like I said, I touched my brakes when I left Oxnard just to throw it in gear and stop in that stop line. Other than that, like. It's all jigs, baby. All jigs, no break. So right here. Let me show you guys. 35. Hey, look at. Not even 
even touching my brakes. It's just, as you can see, my truck is coasting. I'm not hitting my brakes. I'm letting the Jake brakes do his job. And another thing too, what I like to do for the Jake's working a lot, hit your fan. Turn on your fan down the hill. Like I said, look at it. I'm at 35. I'm not even touching the brake. My foot's right here, if you can see. You gotta be right here. If you ever come down the grapevine, you might see guys go over the white line, but trust me, they're doing it for a reason. This lane is bumpy. Right here, th this is my sweet spot, like I said. It's all about finding your sweet spot. It takes time to know, you know how to control your rig, to be confident in controlling the wagon because semis are big old machines. <laughs> and yeah, but anywho, if you found this help, this advice, I'm sorry, helpful, comment below. And if you want to see a more detail, me actually shifting the gear, showing the odometer, the speedometer, uh, showing you more in depth. But I kind of explain it as simple as possible. There's no need to put, uh, you know, throw other stuff in there that don't make, not does it not make sense, not to get to technical. It's just the three things before going down the hill. Read your signs, prepare for the downhill, drop gears, and let the Jakes do his job. If you ever go over Donner Pass on the 80, there's a sign that says truck drivers, let her drift. And like I say, let her drift. Right now I haven't touched my brakes. I'm going downhill 35 exactly. RPMs at 1400. Cruising. The guys in front of me, I already I already smell the brakes. Oh, and I'm fully loaded right now. I'm lost. I'll stick, I'll send, I'll put a screenshot of my load weight right about now. I'm fully loaded. I got 20 pounds of pineapples. I got a heavy load. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm not light. So, I mean, light or heavy, you still want to be cautious. But like I said, the more you drive, the more you get comfortable with your experience, your knowledge, your wisdom. You know what you can and can't handle. Easy as that. So if you found this tip helpful, comment below. And if you did it, tell me you did it. Or I can correct it. Or I can get make sure the viewers are getting the right information off me. much in the next 45 minutes I got here an hour early it's 12 p.m. apparently so you know I ate before I left home but I didn't even come prepare because I just thought well I'm not gonna eat I usually don't eat in the middle of the night so I came over here with pretty much no food a little bit of water in my flask and yeah so anyways I'm gonna end the vlog here it might bad if the content's been a little stale. I have my kids down for the summer, so like I've been chilling at home with them quality, quality time, and um, been just chilling lately. I've been working, but I've been kicking back at the same time, you know. And um, my uh, videos will be more consistent like in the next two weeks. So I'm just a little aggravated right now because man, this with trucking, you gotta hurry up and wait. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, keep on trucking the G-Way, hit the subscribe button, drop a like, comment that bell for notifications. I appreciate all the new support. Let's get this channel up to a thousand, thousand subs. I know I could do it. Like I said, comment below what you guys want to see. You like my short clips, let me know what you guys want to see shorts. And um, this video now, let me know if my advice on how to take a downhill helped you. So, until the next vlog, stay safe, I'm out. Peace.